hi everyone welcome once again to unifada's youtube channel and today i'm going to be talking about the planning station for a patient with depression we have a video of the assessment station for this particular patient so if you haven't watched the video i would advise that you watch the video first so that you can follow us with this planning station so just a, a little recap a uh, planning station is a silent station, meaning just you and your pen, and it is 14 minutes, and you expect it to come up with two nursing problems for your patient. Remember, those nursing problems must be related to your patient. Okay, so I'm going to be reading the scenario for today, uh, which is Barry Collins. So Barry Collins was discharged from the medical assessment unit following treatment for a chest infection, and he arrived at the care home last evening. So this patient is in the care home. Uh, you have a discharge letter from the hospital stating the client's history of anxiety and depression. During his admission, he has been withdrawn and anxious. Based on your nursing assessment, please produce a nursing care plan for two relevant aspects of nursing care suitable for the next 24 hours. This is a silent routine station. Please ensure that you write legibly and clearly. That's very important. You must write legibly and clearly. You have 14 minutes to complete the station, including all the required documentation. Complete all sections of the care plan. Assume it is today and it is 10 on red hours. So like we've always advised that once you have your uh, question paper and your answer booklet, the first thing you should write is your name and your signature so that you don't forget that. All right, so for this patient, if you watch the video of the assessment, it has a PHQ-9 score of 17 and it has a new score of 0. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be using uh, for my care plan as well. All right, so my the first nursing problem I'm going to go for for this patient is Barry is having depression with a PHQ-9 score of 17. Yeah, it's that simple. And the aim of care is going to be to reduce Barry's level of depression to at least less than PHQ-9 of 9. And the re-evaluation date is going to be today, the date of your exam, every 24 hours, okay? Or you can say daily or sooner if clinical condition changes. Now, I'm going for 24 hours and daily because of the setting. So your re-evaluation date as well uh, depends on the setting. Okay, depends on where your patient is. Either the patient is in the hospital, the patient is at home, or the patient is in the care home. So that would determine your re-evaluation date as well. So if this patient were to be at home, I will have said to be re-evaluated today, the date of your exam, weekly or every seven days or sooner if clinical condition changes. Now, let's talk about the nursing intervention. I'm going to be using a matter read. So the first E is explain to Barry all his care plan and gain consent. And the M, monitor Barry's full set of observation every 12 hours and escalate as per needs to policy or to his GP as the need arises. And then the next one is assess Barry's level of depression using the PHQ-9 chart. And T, what do you want to teach Barry? I'll teach Barry to participate in community activities to help with his mood. And then the A, I'll administer Barry's prescribed medication and monitor for side effects and effectiveness. And for the how, refer Barry to the community mental health team and his GP. And the I, I will instruct Barry on the use of call bell when he needs help. And I also ensure that Barry have his GP number and ask him to call triple one for non-emergencies and triple nine for emergencies. And the last one is I'll document all care given to Barry. And that is all. That's all about the first nursing problem. All right, so the second nursing problem, there are several nursing problems that I can actually come up with for Barry because Barry has issues with his uh, sleeping pattern. So you can say Barry is experiencing sleeplessness and Barry has lots of appetite, appetite as well. So you could talk about the risk for malnutrition. But because of his mood, I'm going to be talking about um, 
risks for self-harm. You could talk about anxiety as well, that Barry is anxious uh, for whatever reason he has given you. But I'll be talking about risks for self-harm, okay? So, Barry is at risks for self-harm. That's a not second nursing problem. And the aim of care is going to be to reduce Barry's risks of, for self-harm. And the re-evaluation date is going to be today, the date of your exam, every 24 hours or daily as clinical con condition uh, or sooner as clinical condition changes, okay? So today, the date of your exam, every 24 hours or sooner as clinical condition changes. And for the nursing intervention, I'm going to be using a matter read as well, the first E, Explain to Barry all his care plan and gain consent. And M, monitor Barry's full set of observation every 12 hours and escalate as per news to policy and to his GP as the need arises. And the next one is assess Barry for signs and symptoms, any sign of self-harm, okay, using the PHQ-9. And then you also uh, provide um, necessary intervention. So assess Barry for any sign of self-harm using the PHQ-9 chart and then provide the necessary intervention. Also, uh, you could say that you will put Barry in the, under a close observation. All right, so that is about the A. And then the next one, a matter is, so what are we going to teach Barry? I'm going to teach Barry to voice out his fears, to voice out, um, to voice out uh, his, his concerns. And then I'll prefer um, any intervention that is necessary. Okay. Then you, or you could say that encourage Barry to voice out his anxiety and then you reassure him accordingly. All right. And then the next one is administer Barry's prescribed medications and you monitor for the effect and then the side effect of the medication. Okay. And uh, you refer Barry to the community mental health team and his GP as the need arises. Or you can say refer Barry to the community mental health team and the GP for further plan of care. Okay, then you instruct Barry on the use of Corvel when the need arises and you inform him to call triple one for non-emergencies, triple nine for emergencies and ensure that he has his GP number when he goes home. All right. So as soon, in as much Barry is still in the uh, care home, once you write that you should ensure that Barry has his call bell and uses it when the need arises, that will be fine. Okay? But you could add to it that if Barry is going home, I will ensure that Barry has his GP number, tell him to call triple one for non-emergencies and triple nine for emergencies. And the last one is document all care given to Barry. Remember, for your uh, nursing intervention, you only need minimum or five points okay you can write as many as you want but minimum of five points but make sure that those five points are things that are related to your nursing diagnosis to your nursing problem and that is all about the care plan for uh, a patient with depression okay you can develop your own nursing intervention for the other um, nursing problems that i mentioned earlier all right see you some other time thank you and bye for now